what we got with us today. <laughs> Trinisha, my feet. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you from, how you grew up. <laughs> I'm from West High, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, County Courts. Um, it's AKA um, Captain and Goodfellow. I was um, raised by my mother and father, both together. Uh, 1992. Hmm. And, uh. Brothers and sisters? Yeah, five siblings. All together, on my mother and father's side. What, uh, what schools did you go to? Um. Uh, I went, I graduated from Sumner High School. What year was this? Um, 2011. <laughs> what uh, did your mom and dad teach you growing up? What did you learn from them? <laughs> How to be a lover, <laughs> contributor, and <laughs> uh, I love a family member. <laughs> How to take care of myself. By myself. How's your relationship with your brothers and sisters? Strong. It's strong. <laughs> we stick together hard. How's your relationship with your parents? <laughs> Good at both my parents still. <laughs> I have one deceased sister. What jobs have you had over your lifetime? Oh, I worked at plenty of jobs. Um, UPS, loading, unloading. Um, I worked at McDonald's, um, Bellaton. I worked at a <laughs> temp services, we staffing, packaging, and stuff like that. Are you currently working? No. How long, how long have you been out of work? Two years. What have you been doing in those two years? <laughs> struggling, stressing. Struggling and stressing. But surviving. Over. What have you been struggling and stressing over? <laughs> like transportation. Not being able to oh, contribute to my own. <laughs> Uh, survival, basically. You can't uh, get on the like the metro lake or the bus. Yeah, those are the main struggles. Not been able to make it around, but to get to work, or having an ID to get it done. You know you can go to different agencies mm -hmm. and churches, and they'll mm -hmm. let you. They'll they'll assist you in getting the ID for free. You know that, right? <laughs> Somewhat. Oh, that's too many places. How long have you been without your ID? Mm. Almost a year now. So within a year, what kind of mm -hmm. jobs can you get without an ID? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm sorry, I'm trying to calm down. <laughs> On and off, um, I do. I do demolition for my uncle. I help him clean up houses. Or just do cleanup. Make it out of houses. Mm -hmm. Do some landscaping sometimes. Lawn services. Mostly with family members. That's about it. I don't really do much else. Never been married, no children. No. What's what's got you so emotional right now? Like what's mm -hmm. what's going on? It's constantly waking up with not being able to support myself. No you know, purpose, cause <laughs> all I know is to work. If if you can go and get your ID, <laughs> won't that be a big step in gaining mm -hmm. employment? Yeah. Yes. You need to get your ID. Um, you need to go to the different agencies to, to assist you in getting your ID because if that's all that's standing in your way of employment, that's not much standing in your way. Yeah.
Um, That's mostly it. It's just hard um, and frustrating and not having consistent income. It's hard. People treat you different, don't they? Yeah. They're not afraid to tell you how to help you, but you know what I'm saying? You're waking up every day with nothing to do. It's frustrating. And being on drugs and, and just trying. <laughs> Try to stay woke to even care. <laughs> I just feel that I don't even want to be bothered. So you're dealing with addiction too. What kind of addiction are you dealing with currently? <laughs> Try to cut drugs and heroin. <laughs> Crack cocaine. How long have you been dealing with that? <laughs> Three years now. Have you ever tried to get clean and go the sober route? Yeah. How did that work out? It worked out. I've done it before for four years. What happened after the four years was up? Who? <gasps> what made you go back? Uh, Miss Carrier, losing the baby, in an abusive relationship. And my last thing <laughs> was after my miscarriage, I just stopped working. That's all I had. <laughs> It was just so frustrating. <laughs> Nobody was there. Your parents weren't there? Oh, my mother was. My dad was in out to this day. What about your siblings? Nobody was there for you? Yeah. My sisters are there for me. They're just in different spots and different states. <laughs> Do you have any ways to be contacted if people want to reach out and share resources? Do you have social media? Do you have Cash App? Do you have anything where people can reach out and, and give you a blessing if, if need be? No. No, no, no social media? Yeah, traditional might be on Facebook and on YouTube. What's your YouTube? Tradition might be. Um, How do you spell it? Four different YouTubes. Um, T R A. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, T R A N E I S H A. Murphy, M U R P H Y. What kind of YouTube channels do you have? I sing. Try to do skits, but that's like singing is more important because I'm in it. And people like me. They <laughs> like to me singing. It makes me happy. So why aren't you making your skits and singing? <laughs> I don't necessarily cause they have a phone. That's another thing. And I, I you don't. Can, you can once you get your ID. Have long. Once you get an ID, can't you get like one of those kind of government phones? Yes. And that can help you with your with your YouTube uh, ventures. Yes. You need to be doing your skits and singing. That's that's your money right there. That's your job. Yeah. If you got a following on there, all that's standing in your way is creating your content on a consistent basis. How long have you been dealing yeah. with your YouTube stuff? Yes, like 12 years, 10 years. How many, uh, you got You got a nice little amount of followers on there? Yes. Oh yeah, you need to You need to get back on that. More than just family members, yeah. You need to, um, that's your money. That's your job. You create your own job in the meantime until you can get your ID and do something else, but you still keep that too. Yeah. That's what I, I would say. Um, I yeah, that that's your that's your job. That's your money. You forgot all about that, didn't you? You can't forget I about that. Hmm? I don't forget it. I just like run away from it. I don't know why. That's that's your job. That's a job that you created for yourself. This is not fun anymore. I understand that, but you, you still got to keep going. You can't give up. You can't just settle for being what's going on because, okay, then what? You're going to be sad and depressed every day, then what? Every day. Okay, when you going to get tired of that? Tired of hell. Okay, so you need to... You need to be getting back to your YouTube stuff. You need to be getting your phone and you, you need to get your, your, your situation together because you can actually make it with your YouTube stuff 
if you stick with it. Anything that you stick with, you can make it if you believe in yourself and have the confidence. Yeah. But if you don't have the confidence, then you're going to keep doing the war with me and saying how sad and depressed you are. You got to stick with it, get with it, and, 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 and stay to it. That's your money. You, you need to go back to your, your singing and your, your skits and your... That's your money. Build up your following, and, and you got to be consistent with it. Keep your phone. You got to keep your phone. You, you can't do none of that without the phone. So what else, what else would you like to do? For now, that's most important. Just making sure I can at least touch everybody. Or be some type of help to somebody. Besides myself. Shout out your YouTube channel again on here so everybody oh. can go over there and check it out. I'm Trinisha Murphy. Spell Trinisha it out. Trinisha Love Jones. Mm -hmm. Pretty Money. <laughs> All of them got different stuff on it? Different songs. Oh man, you got... <laughs> and that, if they want to reach out to you, they can reach out to you through your YouTube channels, basically? <laughs> yes. Or through Facebook. Yeah. And your Facebook is Phoenicia Murphy. Yes. Yes. And they'll see a picture of you. Yeah. Long dress and a gray bandana. Like a gray handy, like sweater band. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. If there's anything in closing that you may want to say to anybody who may be looking for you, worried about you, or anything mm -hmm. you want to get off your chest that you haven't said thus far, now's the time you could say it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, just be grateful to be up every day. <laughs> Take advantage of it. Cause you never know you wake up again. Or when you lose everybody, that's just you. Take advantage of it still. Cause you might just be able to help somebody. That's what makes me happy. Just to be able to do something right. And be occupied, cause that's what I chose to do. We appreciate you for taking time out with us, Miss May, and we um, want you to get back to your YouTube and, and putting up your content so, so we can support you. We appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. I can do that.